I, I encountered these uh, doing research in Venice, researching the Venice Biennale of 1976, which was a hugely politicized Biennale that uh, opened uh, 40 years after the beginning of the Spanish Civil War and where Spanish transition to democracy was a, a very key feature. And I was just going through the archive and stumbled on this little catalog that said the Open University of Venice Biennale. They just photographed it and um, it kind of unraveled from there. I started working on the very, the radical pedagogy of televised education. That's how I started working on these. And it, um, I worked for a long time just testing it, testing it with my students, doing a sort of rerun, finding a way to study this object. That was the thing that took longer, I guess, as a study object. How you work with these. What do you do? How can you communicate these? That was, and the surprise was the, the exhibition, I think, as a form, is a very good way to communicate these. It's a wonderful way to learn how to learn, is to learn how to listen. And uh, the Oral Histories project were a way of um, listening to those particular voices, more or less in the same manner that they were taking the opportunity of the course to study, to listen. If the course itself was able to produce knowledge, to record those voices that would be lost, maybe it was just decent that uh, I tried to do more or less the same thing. Pay attention, listen. It's a very good way of learning. I think the critical reflection that we have is to use this course. It's an effect of history. This is no longer current, which doesn't make it obsolete, just makes it a document. And this was a, an extraordinary time of transformation of architectural discourse and transformation of intellectual positions at large. This, um, the course is actually the, the material evidence of a time that was finishing. In the 70s, we had postmodernity. Textbook postmodernity, as, um, as Lyotard would put it, is the end of a main narrative, is the end of a single channel to communicate, is the end of widespread social synchronization. It's the same time when people discovered that TVs had four buttons, that there was cable TV, that we moved from broadcasting to aim casting or narrow casting, to specialized channels. So it was no longer even technically or commercially possible. So this is a very good document of that particular transformation.